Here is a painting of victorious battle between the Allied forces of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Kingdom of Poland and the troop of Moscow Grand Prince Vasil the Sot, which took place under the town of Orsha on the 8th of September 1514. The long war between the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Grand Principality of Moscow lasted interruptedly since 1501. In 1514, Vasily the managed to capture Smolensk and after that his troops moved to the town of Orsha, which was an important strategic point at the crossroads of the trade routes of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The huge 80,000 in other sources, 50,000 Moscow army, which consisted almost entirely of cavalry, was headed by voivods Ivan Chelyadnin and Mikhail Bulgakov Golitsa. The forces from the opposite side were led by the best commander of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, Prince Konstantin of Astrok. The significant part of his 35,000 army consisted of Ukrainian and Belarusian regiments, as well as Polish troops of Janusz Swierczowski and Wojciech Sampolinski. There were also ethnic Lithuanian soldiers, Lithuanian Tatars and mercenary Serbian cavalry. Separate army units were commanded by well-known military and state figures of that time such as Yuri Radzivil Hercules, Jan Ama Tarnowski and Yuri Alshansky. In Konstantin's of Astrok army, the representation of infantry, heavy and light cavalry, as well as artillery, was rather proportionate. The Muscovitists built fortifications on the left bank of the Dnipro River, took control of the crossing point and waited for the active action of the enemy. So Konstantin of Astrok got the disadvantage. Having much smaller army, he couldn't start the offensive, but he took a desperate step and ordered to build at night pontoon wooden bridges so that artillery and infantry could cross the river while cavalry would wade it through. In the morning, on the 8th of September, the army of Konstantin of Astrok struck an unexpected blow at the enemy. Duke's best forces and artillery were placed in the center. The Polish cavalry was placed on the left flank, while Konstantin led the right flank. In its rear, the commander organized an ambush. In the midst of the battle, Konstantin pretended to retreat his position. Instead, under the volley of guns, he managed to draw the enemy's cavalry into the ambush and struck it by the forces of the reserve detachment hidden in the coastal forest. The attack of Polish hussars put an end to the army of Muscovites. They lost 30,000 soldiers. Their commander, voivod Ivan Chelyadnin, and eight other voivods were taken prisoner and significant trophies were seized. At the same time, the losses of Konstantin of Astrok's army did not exceed 4,000 soldiers. Due to this victory, Moscow's expansion to the west was brought to hold for almost half a century. The Battle of Orsha had a significant international resonance. The unknown participant of the battle, the student of the German painter Lukas Kranach the Elder, being impressed by the events, created Battle of Orsha painting, which is considered to be one of the best battle paintings on the Renaissance epoch. The original canvas is kept in the National Museum in Warsaw. The analysis of the painting indicates that it was not completely preserved. Parts of the canvas on its top and sides were cut off. The painting illustrates various stages of the battle. The image of Konstantin of Astrox appears on the painting three times, during the night river crossing, at the beginning of the battle, and in its finale, when he was chasing the fleeing enemy. There are also two images of one of the gunners, which may emphasize the important role of the artillery in his battle. The painting impressed with the detailed drawing of the military armor and weapons.